Let's talk for a minute about humidification with ukuleles. Now, if you have a ukulele, they are meant to be stored between 40 and 60% humidity. Extreme humidity can obviously cause issues because your ukulele is wet, and lower humidity will cause your ukulele to dry out and crack. Uh, there's lots of symptoms such as sharp edges on the fretboard because as the fretboard shrinks, the edges of the metal frets pop through. Or you can even have a ukulele that cracks. I haven't had that yet. And part of that was I went into ukuleles reading about it and learning about humidity a little bit. And I'm not going to say I'm a humidity expert, but I just want to show you a couple of the things that are out there and a project that my friend Paul Marchese did and um, I'll show you what I'm doing with that too. So here are three types of humidifiers for ukuleles and you can also use them for guitars or other things. This one is called the Oasis humidifier. I think it's the 10 model and basically when it dries out it gets wrinkled like this. There's a silica gel in there. I don't know if you can see it if I squeeze it out. See it popping up there? That expands with water when wet and what you do is you take a syringe that they give to you and you take a source of water. I always keep a little separate jar. And by the way, suggestion is that you use distilled water. So go buy yourself a, a gallon or two the next time you go to your local supermarket or, or mega store. And you just fill up the water until the unit is full. And that took more than one syringe, so let's do one more. Like so. And that one now has water to the top. You screw the top on. And this lining is porous, but not enough that water leaks, just the vapors get out. And this piece comes separately, and it goes on the top of the strings of your ukulele. I can get a ukulele and let you see what that would look like. Here is my Acacia Opio, Opio as they'd say in Hawaii, but you'd actually force it through the strings, it's not going to hurt anything, put it through, and then you store it. And I just got some extra water on my ukulele, you can wipe that off, but you can stir the ukulele upright then, and uh, that humidifier just hangs in there and humidifies that in the body cavity. So that's, that's great, and that works out pretty well. So let me take that out of there. Andrew, the owner of the ukulele site, recently did a study with different humidifiers and this humidifier seemed, in his reporting, to keep ukuleles at the highest possible humidity. He didn't test these. This is a very, very, very cheap knockoff humidifier from China and I ordered a few of these. Turns out they just have that green plant material that you find like when you're shopping at a plant store and that's just inside there. Now it does get wet and it will help humidify your ukulele but really I was wasting my money that was trash. There's a company called Nomad and what Nomad does is they actually have a brand new one of these that has a hygrometer or hygrometer right at the top that tells you the percentage of humidity and you can buy those separately too if you really want to watch it. Uh, Dadario also has a Bluetooth version that you can stick inside your case and it will ping you when the humidity is low and you can test the humidity from Bluetooth. But anyway, what happens is you take the sponge that goes in it and you soak it in water and when it's wet then you just put it in there and then that goes in between your strings on your ukulele like so and that would just stay there so that's option number two the Nomad or its digital counterpart that has a readout what my friend Paul Marchese did was he thought about it and he had some school ukuleles that were cracking um, he had some mainlands that they went into this year fantastic instruments and the owner Mike there uh, sells them to schools for very 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 low cost or donates them uh, they're factory seconds but they're incredible better than 
most people get a chance to start playing with. And Paul's got a whole set of those for his students, but they were starting to show signs of cracking and drying out. So he said, I can make a humidifier. Now he runs a uh, fishing string, and I just suggested today in a chat with him online that maybe we could use old ukulele strings. But um, he puts a bit of super glue on the back and ties a knot. I would tie a knot on the top too, and then ties a loop, and then that goes around the neck, and then this goes in the body of the ukulele. Now what is it? Well, he used test tubes, and I ordered quarter-sized uh, storage tubes with a cap on them. And what you do is you order those. Let's see, a whole, 10 of them were $6.35 with shipping. And they come to you in a set of 10 just like this. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a second. And then you order water beads, water beads that are available at your probably your Joanne Fabrics, your craft store, but I ordered them off of eBay. I got 10,000 of them for $2.72 shipped. It just took them almost a whole month to get here. So this has been kind of a fun project. And what you do is you take your vial, and I'm just going to draw on this. I don't have to draw on this, but I'm just going to show you. I drill all the way through with a drill through one side, boom, 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 three spots, and then I drill equally, boom, 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 three more spots. So there'll be 12 holes on the side. And then I do a series of eight dots on the bottom. I figure for drainage when it's filling and everything else, that work real well. And then I just do one single hole on the top. So let me go do that. I am using a 1 16th drill bit. These little water beads are incredibly tiny, so I didn't want them sneaking through. So I'm gonna start with the bottom first, and I'll just do it real quickly. You now have eight holes drilled at the bottom, and then I'm going to drill through all the way through. So it gets me two holes there, two holes there, two holes there, and then we'll go across. Make sure you don't drill into your hand, that's really important. And then just one on the top later for a fishing line or ukulele string. So now I've got some plastic shards in there that I want to clear out. Get that cleared out. And that thing's ready to go. Now it's not pretty. But the idea is this can go in your case, or actually in the ukulele hole, because these water beads absorb water and then release them. Uh, I've been reading up on them, and they have a lifespan of about two years, which is about the same as the Oasis. But what you do is you take your little deal. Um, Paul puts a little bit of extra super glue because he's got, he's got his students using it, so he actually super glues the top on so that they can't get it off. Um, these are going to be my, mine, not used at school, so I'm just going to throw them in my cases for extra humidity. And I just pour in water beads. Now, how many? I don't actually know to tell you the truth. I put a layer at the bottom. You can see that. They want enough that it can fill up. And then what I do, this sponge, by the way, is ready to go. I've got two of these nomads, and I've got a bunch of these Oasis humidifiers. But once I'm ready to go here, I put on the top and make sure that it's tight. And then I just set it in the water and I hold it down for a second. And what it's going to do is it's going to draw all the water that it needs, although I'm going to give it some more in this container. And it's not instantaneous, but they are already growing in size as they sit there in the water. And when they're done, it's going to fill up to that. Now, what I can do later is I can open up my case, and if I see that the beads are 
you know, drying out and there's lots of room, I can just drop it in the water again, humidify it, take it out and throw it back in the case. Because really, it, it isn't wet. It isn't wet at all. And I can put these inside of a normal gig bag. I can put them inside of a hard case or one of the soft-shelled hard cases. If you know what I mean, there's uh, the hard cases that aren't actually a hard case, but they're not exactly a gig bag. So it's a neat little project. All together, the material to make 10 of these, actually more if I just buy more of these, 635 for 10 tubes, 272 for 10,000 beads. So really for the price of one of these Oasis's, which is $20, I could make 30 of these. And I have a funny feeling that the end result for humidity will be very similar. It's a very similar concept, silica gel versus a water bead. So that's the project. If you'd also like to see Paul's project, I will link to it in this video and you can check it out. But it's another way for you to make sure that your ukulele stays safe, that it gets the humidity that it needs, and uh, you can be make sure that you're being a good steward of your, of your instrument, taking care of your instrument, doing what you should be doing with it. All right. Thanks much for following. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Keep playing, keep singing, keep learning, and teaching others.